Uh, Dan Fitzpatrick here at Stock Market Mentor on uh, Monday, February 13th. And in this free video, we're gonna, I'm coming back to skilled healthcare because this is, is gradually tracing out uh, the way that I analyze volatility squeezes. First of all, we've got the squeeze. Next, we've got the breakout. Let me zoom in a little bit so you can really get a sense of the volume. There. Okay. So we got the squeeze here. We've got phase one of the breakout, which is the breakout. How far can it go? It went clear up here. That's phase one. Phase two is how far will it pull back? The most, keep watch this because I'm giving you pearls. The most the stock should pull back is whatever the breakout level was right here. If the stock pulls back here, the move is really, really suspect, which is why typically you're going to want to keep a stop like right in the middle of congestion, not below here, because I'm not going to go into details as far as exactly why it is, but if the stock falls all the way through what had been the congestion area before, there's just not enough demand for the stock. If it falls all the way through, you just definitely don't want to own it. And so we put our stop just a little bit below this resistance level right here. So we'll go back here. So again, here's the breakout phase one here. Phase two is a pullback. Now we want to know when, you know, if we're going to get a phase three. And you don't always get a phase three. That's really important. You don't always get it. So we're looking for a low, not just another down day. In a downtrend, you get a boatload of those. Uh, you want to know what the low is. And the low is only made possible to see by an up day by the stock starting to move higher. That's what we got today. So I say this is phase one, this is phase two. Now that we have a low established, now we're starting phase three. And we look for this kind of move. Now, where do we put our stop? We don't put our stop here anymore. That's too low. Instead, we put our stop just below Friday's intraday low because this is the new support level um, right here. So this is how we're trading the squeeze. Guys, we do this all the time at Stock Market Mentor. I'm sure not as often as some would like. <laughs> you know, it'd be nice to do them every day. But this is the type of trade that we find. And they're total money makers. They're absolute money makers. Uh, we've seen recent moves like this in, in Ren Ren and various others uh, throughout the last several weeks. But anyway, I hope this helps on skilled uh, healthcare. Just keep your stop below this level and, and stay long the stock. If your stop is hit, too bad, so sad, we take our lumps and we move on. If the stop is not hit, then we ride this uh, stock on to victory. So, okay, members, get to the uh, strategy session. I'm going through, I spend a lot of time on Apple, which is more of a trading tutorial. Um, than anything else, but I'm going to tell you how to trade Apple on this extended, um, in this extended basis, and it's a really low risk way of trading Apple. So don't blow off the strategy session tonight. I know they're long, it's about a, over half an hour tonight. It's about 32, 33 minutes, but it's really important because what I'm telling you is something that you'll be able to apply to every stock in your portfolio. I view this as probably the most important strategy session that I've done, well, today. Um, so check that out. I know it's going to work for you, and I want you guys talking about it in the forum tomorrow. Tell me what you think and tell each other what you think. Okay, I'll see you tomorrow morning.